One thing about Errol that I noticed that separates him from other people who reach the superstar status is he's, he has a small circle and he stays kind of to himself. Like he's not showing all his camp and stuff like that. Um, where does that come from? Whereas some guys like they show that they live in the life and that kind of stuff when they get some more money. And he's just like humble and who he is, man. His mother, his parents, you know, it's who he is, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm, you know we're on the low. We live, we live, we live. Yeah, you low key. I don't live like that, you not like that. I think that you have to have humility to be great. Yeah. You have to be humble to be great. I think that you have to just stay in this situation. You mean, you know, everybody don't need to know your business. People talk to me, like I told a guy today, I said, the, the, the way I came up with a strategy for Michael Garcia is because of people talking to me. Ooh. And when you watch the video, you can't see what he does wrong. You can't see what he does wrong. Is he, he throws his jab, he drops his hand down and brings it back up. Right? And he punches his raise up a little higher. That's not enough to go out for a build of strategy. The strategy came from people talking about how smart he was, how intelligent he was, how intellectual he was. I said, okay. He's so smart, he's a great kind of person. I'm gonna keep a jab in his face. Keep the business, keep it occupied. So he can't be as smart as he is because he's thinking about getting away from those punches opposed to counter punches. So when people talk about how intelligent he is, the strategy came from the conversation, not from watching the video, because there was nothing he was giving up to say he has flaws, he has faults in the video. But it's a conversation. You gotta always reach and reach and reach. To get what you need, and that's what I got. I heard him I was like, <coughs> I'm like that's, that's what, so, 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 people talk too much, people show too much. Now, given that he talked a lot, what can you say? Well, I'm not talking about Mikey talked too much, I'm talking about just the people, the fans, the commentators, the this, the that, the uh -huh. that. That's what it was. So it wasn't so much about Mikey, and, you know, it wasn't him at all. But the game plan, it, it looked like the game plan was, Earl, he's going to get tired late. If you just keep on boxing, your power is going to carry in the later rounds, and maybe we stop him, maybe we don't. I'm not sure if that was the game plan. It was about, they said Earl was not a boxer. Uh -huh. They said he was a flat-footed fighter. Doesn't move his head, doesn't do this, doesn't do that. So he just showed them what he can do. Well, not really, because to me, I didn't see anything different from what he did than any other other fighter. I mean, there's much more. He didn't sit a lot, a little bit. He didn't sit on a lot of his stuff, a lot of his work, a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Now, would you want him to turn a little bit more on Sean Porter? Because Sean Porter is going to be aggressive. He's going to come. So, if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support, Boxing Ego the future of boxing.